crying. Mama said I could carry a basket. Mama, Mama, she pulled my ears. Come, come, that will do. Now, my dears, you may go into the fields. <laughs> or down the lane. But don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Your father had an accident there. He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. Now run along and don't get into mischief. I'm going out. Peter, come along, Peter. Not likely. Then old Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella and went through the wood to the baker. Now then, a loaf of brown bread and, let me see, uh, one, two, three, four, five currant buns. Psst! Benjamin! Peter! I'll try and meet you tomorrow, under the big fir tree! Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went down the lane to gather blackberries. But Peter, who was very naughty, ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden and squeezed under the gate. Mama will never find out. And in any case, I'm quite sure I can outrun Mr. McGregor. Own. Someone might notice it. Oh. Oh. Wouldn't have a oh. tummy ache, would we? Oh. oh, I do feel rather sick. Faster than Mr. McGregor, are we? <laughs> uh, definitely something wrong with that one. Oh, I'd best find a little bit of parsley. Oh. Mr. McGregor! Stop, thief! Come back here, ya wee pest! Ah. Oh, no! I'll end up like Papa! Where's that wee barbet? Ah. Gotcha, ya wee... Ah. Oh, 
Here somewhere, and I'll find a name to tell that. Come on and show yourself a wee beastie. I don't find you here. Peter, late again. Where have you been? Not in Mr. McGregor's garden again, I hope. And where are your clothes? I suppose you're going to tell me that you have lost them again. <laughs> Do you realise that is the second little jacket and pair of shoes you've lost in a fortnight? You shall go straight to bed without any supper. I must say, you don't look too well. I'll give you a dose of chamomile tea. Do try not to stain your aprons. This should set you to rights. Mr McGregor's garden indeed. There. Go to sleep now. Good night, Mama. Mm -hmm. 